Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hi, guys. How's uh, everyone today? I hope everybody is blessed. Amen. Praise God. So, uh, we will continue with our topic for today. Our The title of our lesson for today is Demonstrating the Love of God to the World. But before we start, praise God, let's have a short prayer. Amen. Everybody close your eyes and bow your heads. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we give you glory and honor and praises and thanksgiving. Father, we commit this Bible study, O God, actually this preaching, this message, O God, into your hands. Let your mighty anointing be upon all of us, upon all the viewers, O God, upon all those who are listening. Open our hearts, our minds, O God, and we believe we receive, O God, the revelation from heaven. Lord, thank you so much, O God, for the victory today. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody say, Amen and Amen. Praise God. Before we start, let's do our declaration. Are you ready? Praise God. Say, I am blessed in the name of Jesus. I am healed. I am well in the name of Jesus Christ. I am strong in Jesus' name. Because the Lord he is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I am glorious in the name of Jesus. I am highly favored in Jesus' name. God has surrounded me with oceans of favor and oceans of blessings every day in Jesus' name. Therefore, I am always victorious all the time, anywhere, any place in the name of Jesus. Today, I will listen to the Word of God. Therefore, I shall be blessed, exceedingly blessed beyond measure in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody say, Amen and amen. Come on, give a high five to your neighbor left and right and tell them, thank you for coming today. You bless my life. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Give the Lord a clap of praise. Give the Lord a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The title of our message for today. Come on, listen is demonstrating the love of God to the world. Demonstrating the love of God to the world. And let's open our Bibles in the book of Luke chapter 4. We'll start reading from verse 14 up to 19. Praise God. Come on. Verse 14 up to verse 19. Okay, ready? Listen. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Holy Spirit, and the news about him spread through the whole countryside. He taught in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. And then he went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, as it was his custom. And he stood up to read the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him, unrolling it, he found a place where it is written, verse 18, The Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Praise God. Purihin pong Panginoon sa pagkabasa ng kanyang salita. No? Praise God. So, Jesus was sent by God the Father to do those things which we have just read. Praise God. Ulitin po natin. He was sent to proclaim the good news to the poor. Po, the good news to the poor. What is good news to the poor? Abundance, prosperity, wellness, happiness, joy, and peace. Why? Because the poor people, especially today, there are so many poor people around the globe. There are only 20% uh, of the people's population who are rich and well-off. But 80% are average and below average. They are all very poor. They are all sick. They are all lonely. They are all sad. They don't have money to pay their bills. Ano po, napakarami pong dapat bayaran ngayon. And these people are always stressed out financially in their minds and in their hearts. They are always full of stress and worry and fear. Ano po? And Jesus says, He came to give the good news to the poor. 
Praise God. What is good news to the poor? Abundance, wellness, prosperity. Sa ating mga kamag-anak, to all our relatives, our neighbors, our friends, ano po, our brothers and sisters. We need to share the Word of God. We need to share the Word from heaven and tell them that there is hope in God and that God wants to bless them. If they will only come back to God, if they will only reconcile with God, if they will only ask for their for forgiveness of their sins and be reconciled with God, God is always willing and is forever willing to help all of them and all of us. And nakita naman po natin na it happened in our lives ano po, when we you know when we were not yet Christians, we were so poor, we don't have any hope. Ano po, we are always homesick, we're always depressed. We're always stressing our mind. Where do I get the money to pay the tuition fee? Where do I get the money to pay the house and to pay the bills and electric bills and all those so many, many bills na binabayaran natin yan. But praise God, now that we have Jesus, we have God the Father, we have the Holy Spirit, and we have the angels of God helping us, assisting us, giving us joy in our hearts even though we are in the midst of trials in the midst of challenges, in the midst of sometimes persecution. Because of being a Christian, we are also being persecuted. But praise God, Jesus says, I came to give you life and that you might have it more abundantly. Complete. Amen? Nothing lacking, nothing broken. Complete. Praise God. Dito po ang gusto ng Panginoon. This is what the Lord wants for all of us to be and to have and to possess and to enjoy every day. So let's read it again. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. Now, take note of the word anointed. Jesus was anointed by the Holy Spirit. He was baptized in the Jordan River, in the Jordan River uh, through water baptism, in John the Baptist, and then the Holy Spirit came down from heaven like a dove, came down from heaven, and it anointed Jesus. It possessed Jesus. The Holy Spirit possessed Jesus. Ano po? The Holy Spirit possessed Jesus. Now Jesus anointed, meaning Jesus has now the power, the power of the Holy Spirit, the energy of the Holy Spirit, and the gifts of the Holy Spirit to start preaching the good news to the whole world. Now, Jesus is not here anymore. He has turned over the responsibility to all of us. We have been anointed by the Holy Spirit. We have been anointed by the Father. When we receive Christ as our Lord and Savior, we receive the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is now indwelling in our hearts. And then we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit is covering us. Praise God. We now have the power. We now have the power. Praise God. Tell your neighbor, we now have the power. Left and right. Ready? Go. We now have the power, praise God. Other side, we now have the power in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now, since we have the power, what shall we do? Angel lang bayan? Is it just there? Ano po? Now we need to release that power. We need to use that power. We need to share that power, that anointing, that love of God, the energy of God, the anointing of God to other people by sharing them the good news, by sharing them the love of God, by sharing them the word of God, by sharing them the plan of God in their lives. Ano sabi po sa Jeremiah 29.11? Come on, uh, recite it. Everybody, go. For I know the plans I have for you, the plan to prosper you and not to harm you, plan to give you hope and a good future. This is the plan of God for each and every person in the whole wide world, not only here in Saudi Arabia, not only in Riyadh, not only in the Philippines, not only in Canada, in the whole wide world. It, this is the plan of God. God is a plan for each and every one of us to have a good future, to have a good life, to have a happy life, to have a joyful life, and to be productive as a person, as a human being. So now, since Jesus is not here anymore, He's now in heaven, it has now become our responsibility as a Christian to share the good news to the poor, to share to them the love of God. When, when you go to slum places, you can see people are very, very poor. They have dirty clothes. You know, they, they, their, their houses are torn and broken. And there is no order. 
Why? Because they are very, very poor. And they have no hope. No po? But praise God, there is always hope in Jesus Christ. And you have Jesus in your life. You have the gospel, the good news in your life. It is your responsibility, my responsibility, as a Christian, to share the love of God na tinanggap natin mula sa Diyos. We need to share the love of God to them. Ano po, kawawa naman sila. Let's be merciful. Let's be gracious to share the love of God. We don't just, you know, come to the church and go home and do our work and then come to the church and go home and do our jobs and have soul chores. No, no, no. We also have a responsibility as a Christian. We have a res responsibility to other people also to share the good news to the poor. Praise God. Next. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind. Jesus was sent also to proclaim freedom for the prisoners. Actually, not only the prisoners who are in prison, although they are included also. Praise God. But most people are prisoners of sin. Hello? Most people, those people who are not in Christ, they are in bondage to sin. They cannot get out and nobody can deliver them except the Christians, except the power of the Holy Spirit, except the power of the Word of God. Those prisoners can be set free again to glorify God, to fulfill the original plan of God in their lives. We need to set them free by sharing them the good news of God, by releasing the power of the gospel in their lives. This is what Apostle Paul says. I'm not ashamed of the power of God, of the gospel of God. Why? Because this is the power of God for man's salvation, to change lives. Salvation means salvation of our soul, salvation of our mind, and then the, our emotion. Tayo po ay nililigtas sa lahat ng mga stress, worry, and fear. We are being saved from all those effects of curse and effects of evil in this world. That is salvation. Salvation is a package. Hindi lang po ito uh, salvation ng ating soul na when we die we go to heaven. No! Even while we are still alive, salvation is now working. We have been saved from the power of sin. We have been delivered from the power of sin. And we have been delivered from the power of sickness and diseases and poverty, worry and fear. Praise God. That is salvation. It's a package. The po, laging sama-sama po yan. Marami po yan. Anything you need, it's in the package of salvation. Anything we need is in the package of salvation. Kaya it is really very important for each and every one of us Christians. If you call yourself, if you consider yourself as a Christian, then you have the responsibility. You have also the accountability to God to share the word of God, to share the goodness of God to many, many different people around us. Why? People are prisoners. People are prisoners of vices. They cannot get out of drugs. They cannot get out of alcohol. They cannot get out of nicotine, of cigarettes. They cannot get out of gambling. They cannot get out of all those bad habits they have. But praise God, the power of God can deliver all of them from all these vices. From all these vices. Lahat mga drunkards, madideliver po yan sa salita ng Diyos. Sa pamagitan ng salita ng Diyos. The drunkards and those who are in drugs, they can be delivered. Nothing is impossible to God. Why? Because the power of God has no limit. It can defeat any vice or any evil work in the life of every person. It will totally change the power of God. The Word of God will totally change the life of a person. Praise God. Kaya, we have that power. We have that anointing, we have that energy, we have that gospel, we have that good news. To liberate the prisoners from all those things that are binding them. They're, they're bound, these people are bound, but they could not move. They're bound by sin. They're bound by all those vices. They're bound, really. And they have no freedom. They cannot praise the Lord and glorify God because they're bound by the devil. And it is our duty and our responsibility as a Christian to set them free. Praise God. Come on, give the Lord a clap of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, next. 
He has sent me to, free, uh, to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind. Recovery of sight for the blind, praise God. Well, this can be natural sight, no? through healing, or the spiritual sight. Because people are spiritually blind. The gospel says, the word of God says, people are spiritually discerned or, or they cannot understand the word of God, the gospel of God, the spiritual things of God. Why? Because they are spiritually blind, they are spiritually discerned. Now, when we preach the good news, when we preach good news, so the Paul, when we preach the goodness of God, the love of God, the love of Jesus, the plan of God in their lives, and they receive Christ as their Lord and Savior, these blinders will be removed. And they will see now and they will understand the plan of God. They will understand the goodness of God. They will understand the love of God. They will understand the sacrifice of Jesus done on the cross. They can now understand the spiritual things, the spiritual area, the spiritual dimension. Now their eyes, their spiritual eyes are open. Praise God. Hallelujah. Like what happened to all of us. Now, we can understand the Bible. Amen? It's very clear now. And napakasarap pakinggan. The Word of God is sweeter than honey. The Bible says, the Word of God is sweeter than honey. Praise God. Ang sarap pakinggan ng Word of God. It's so good to listen to the Word of God. It's so good to read the Word of God. It's so good to hear the Word of God being taught, being preached. Why? Because our spiritual blinders has been removed. Our, spirit, our spiritual mind has been opened to be receptive to receive the Word of God. To receive the wisdom of God. To receive the knowledge of God. Praise God. Amen po? And this is part of our duty as a Christian. Now, tell your neighbor, this is part of our duty as a Christian. Left and right, go. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, another thing. Okay, praise God. Hallelujah. To release the oppressed. We have the power to release the oppressed. Who are the oppressed? Oppressed by the devil. Oppressed by the demons. Oppressed by the evil spirit. We have the power in the name of Jesus. To release them. To set them free. Praise God. Hallelujah. To set them free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Luke 10, 19, Jesus says, I have given you the authority and the power to trample on snakes and scorpions and to destroy all the works of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means will harm you. We have the power over the evil spirits. We have the power over all the works of the enemy. Use your power, guys. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. If you see something strange in your family, in your, you know, in, in, in any member of your family. They are oppressed by the devil. They are influenced by the devil. And you can bind the devil. You can bind the demons. Oppressing your neighbor, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister. You can bind the demon and cast the demon out of, her, of them in Jesus' name. Because you have the power, you have the authority, you have the blood, you have the name of Jesus. And the power of the Holy Spirit will work to destroy the work of the enemy in their lives. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the Bible says we are given also the power to release the oppressed. Lahat po mga na oppressed. You know, this is the reason why some people are so depressed. Why? Because they are oppressed by the devil. They're always negative. They're always hopeless. They don't want to find a job. They're always fearful. Naging natatako. They're always afraid na ma-reject, ma hindi matanggap. Praise God. So, these people are oppressed by the devil. They are demonized. They are bound by, by the, the uh, evil idea na they have no hope. Wala na silang pag-asa. Pero there's always hope in Christ. There's always hope in God. This is the reason why we need to share the gospel and tell them that there is hope in Christ. There is hope in Jesus. There is hope in God. At napakaramay na po nating nakitang ganyan. Ano po dito sa church natin, we have seen so many people whose lives 
has been changed by the power of God. Their lives were changed by Jesus, by the Holy Spirit, and by the Word of God. They came here into our church hopeless, depressed, very poor, lonely, no happiness, fearful, afraid, praise God. But when they come to the church, when they receive Christ as Lord and Savior, and the power of the Holy Spirit started to work in their lives, and the power of the Word of God, the knowledge of God, and the wisdom of God started to sink into their spirit, into their system. Now, they see that there is hope, and joy started to overflow from their hearts. Why? The joy of the Lord is in our hearts. It's in the Holy Spirit. It's, it's one gift of the Holy Spirit. The joy of the Lord. Praise God. Kaya tayong Christian, dapat tayo laging joyful and happy. Why? We have the joy already. Na binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. God has given us the joy already. In our hearts, we have joy. We have happiness. We have the right to be happy. Meron din tayong karapatang lumigaya, maging masaya. Praise God. Even though we're not yet rich, even though you're not yet rich, even though you're not yet multi-millionaire, but praise God, every day will be a joyful day and can be a joyful day. It is just depending on your decision. Praise God. Ikaw magdi-decision sa sarili mo. Not anyone else. Not anybody else. Not the situation, not you know the weather or or what you can see from outside. No, 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 no. It is you who will make the decision. Pag nakita natin na naku, may sunstorm ngayon, naku, mukhang babagyo, parang ang, ang, uh, ang uh, nafe-feel natin, nadidepress na tayo. Bamali po yan. Sa umaga pa lang, praise God, let's declare, this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice. And be glad in it. Whatever is the weather, you know, whatever is the situation, whatever is, this, is the circumstance in your workplace, in your family. But rejoice, praise God. Always rejoice. There is power in rejoicing. There is power in rejoicing. There is power in rejoicing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Don't let the situation, the circumstance, or other people dictate how you will feel every day. This is a personal decision. Tell your neighbor, this is a personal decision. You need to be happy and joyful every day. Come on, ready, go! Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Word of God really will change our lives. It changes our lives significantly, significantly. Napakarami pong benefits ng Word of God. There's so many, many, many benefits ng Word of God na nagagawa sa buhay natin. All the promises of God are yes and amen. So whatever is your need, come back. Go back to the Word. Go back to the Bible. It is very, very powerful. Every verse na makita mo na related sa problema mo, claim it, receive it, and declare it in the name of Jesus. Declare it in the name of Jesus. Don't be afraid. Be courageous, God says. Be courageous. Maging matapang ka. Maging matapang ka. Praise God. Kaya mo yan. Kaya mo yan. With the help of the Lord. He is our refuge, our fortress, our God in whom we trust. If God is for us, who can be against us? Anyway, praise God. Hallelujah. Kaya po nating labanan ang lahat ng uri ng problema sa ating buhay by releasing the sword of the Spirit. The sword of the Spirit. The Word of God. Praise God. It's the sword of the Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. We need to release the power of the Word of God through our mouth. But before you can release it, you need to put it into your heart. You need to put it into your heart through reading and reading and listening and reading. Reading and reading and reading and listening, listening, listening. And fill your heart with the Word of God. And when you are full of the Word of God, praise God. This world is under curse. But your own world can be a blessed world using the Word of God. Amen? Malino po ba yun? The whole earth is under curse. It's under curse of sin. Anywhere you go, it's under curse. There's always sickness, diseases, poverty, worry, and fear. Anywhere you go, go to India, go to some part of the Philippines, praise God. Go to many different places. They're all, there are always poor people around the globe. They are under curse. They are sick. They are lonely. They, they are alone. Wala po silang kasama. Wala silang kamag-anak. Wala kaibigan. You can find those kind of people anywhere, everywhere. But you, yourself, 
can live in a blessed world, ang paligid mo can be blessed. When you use the Word of God, when you claim the promises of God, when you release the Word of God, when you declare the Word of God, I am blessed in the name of Jesus. I am healed in the name of Jesus. I am surrounded with happy people in the name of Jesus. I am surrounded with Christians in Jesus' name. I am surrounded with many different blessings from God. Declare the Word of God. And this world of yours, itong mundo mo, this your world, yan. Whether in the office, in the workplace, whatever is your workplace, okay? Whatever is your uh, profession. Your world can be a blessed world. Amen, Paul. You can be eating a very simple meal, but very happy because you thank the Lord before you eat. But another person can be eating a very lavish meal, very lavish meal, fried chicken and all those kind of stuff, but still not satisfied and lonely. Why? They're under curse. They're not blessed. They keep on complaining, complaining, complaining. Bakit matigas tong karne? Bakit matigas tong manok? Bakit nasunog? Bakit hilaw? Bakit? Dami, dami, daming complaint. There's so many complaint. Praise God. While us, praise God. Hallelujah. Nasunog? Crunchy. Praise the Lord pa rin. Amen. Hallelujah. Hilaw. Praise God. Hallelujah. Half cook. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pwede natin lutoin ulit yan. And be happy. Praise God. Hallelujah. We should have a happy heart every day. A happy heart is a good medicine. It's a good medicine. It will bring health and healing to your physical bodies, to your health. The Bible said that. He said that in the book of Proverbs. A happy heart is a good medicine. So it's good to be happy every day. Let's declare our victory every day. Declare our happiness every day. Declare your blessings every day. Declare the grace of God in your life every day. Declare your miracles every day. Praise God. When you wake up in the morning, Lord God in heaven, thank you so much. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for the victory today. Thank you for the miracles today. I claim and believe I receive my miracles. I claim and believe I receive my victory. I claim and believe I receive God's provisions. I claim and believe I receive the blessings of Abraham, the promise of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Use your faith, use the Word of God, and the Holy Spirit, and the angels of God will work and will fix your situation, your circumstance, according to what you said, according to what you said, according to what you declare, the Holy Spirit will fix Everything and will make your surrounding, your world, to be joyful and victorious and happy. Stress-free, praise God. Hallelujah. Yan ang pang-importante po ng Word of God, brothers and sisters. The Word of God is the final authority in our lives. It should be the final authority in our lives. Dapat lagi po tayong puno ng Word of God. Let's fill our hearts with the Word of God. Love the Word of God. Love the Bible. Read the Word of God and listen to the Word of God. You will see the blessings of the Lord in your life. You will see the promise in the Old Testament. In Joshua 1, 8, Meditate on my word day and night so that you will be able to do it, to obey it, to perform it. And then you will be prosperous and successful, God says. You will be prosperous and successful. So, ang word of God pala ay nagdadala ng prosperity. At ng success, at ng happiness, ng healing, ng joy, ng lahat ng kabutihan sa buhay ng tao. Ang Word of God, ito, ito po. Napakarami pong dinadala ito sa buhay ng tao. Napakarami.